I believe unity is more possible than ever before in this race. We need to unite behind Ted Cruz. Ted is a good friend of mine, and we work together a lot in the Senate. I consider him a close personal friend in addition to being a professional ally. One thing that's significant about friends, regardless of what other characteristics they may have, a good friend tends to have two things. A good friend tends to tell you the truth, and a good friend does what he says he's going to do. Ted possesses both of those characteristics to a very, very significant degree, a remarkable degree, in fact. And that's why I'm privileged to call him my friend. But he's a friend not just to me, but to the American people. He's a friend to the people he represents in the state of Texas. You see, when Ted ran for the Senate in 2012, he made some promises to the people of Texas. He promised that he would stand up for them. He promised that he would stand up to a, a growing, overbearing federal government that taxes us too much and regulates us too oppressively, that knows no bounds. He promised that he would fight against Obamacare. He promised he would resist efforts to undermine our Second Amendment rights as Americans. He promised that he would oppose any efforts to undermine religious liberty. Promises and every other promise he has made to the people of Texas. And it's with that trust that he's earned that he's going to move forward and unite our party. You see, too many people throughout this country have been told over and over again by the political establishment in Washington, D.C., that our best days are behind us, that we simply have to settle for the status quo, that we have to settle for sluggish economic growth, we have to settle for more of the same, business as usual in Washington. Ted doesn't believe you have to settle. Ted doesn't believe you should settle. You see, there is a big difference between confusion and confidence, and Ted is that difference. There is a big difference between platitudes and a plan. Ted is that difference. There is a big difference between slogans and substance, and Ted is that difference. So it's time for us to recognize that we don't have to settle anymore. Uh, don't, don't settle. Don't settle for slogans that can fit on a bumper sticker. Expect substance. Don't settle for a federal government that is overbearing at home and projects weakness abroad. Expect a federal government that will protect you and respect your rights. It's time, my fellow Americans, to expect more. It's time to expect freedom. It's time to elect Ted Cruz as the next president of the United States. You know, when we look at this presidential election cycle, one of the many things that comes to mind is the fact that with the recent death of the late Justice Anthony Scalia, a lot of people wonder who is going to fill that vacancy on the Supreme Court. Who's going to fill that, fill that role? And who's going to name the person who will fill that role? It's one of the great things about Ted Cruz is that Americans can proceed with great confidence that Ted Cruz will pick an absolutely outstanding person to fill Anthony Scalia's position on the Supreme Court of the United States. They can also stand with great confidence that this is a man who believes in his own family, has stood with his own family. I have enjoyed getting to know Ted and his wife Heidi and their daughters Catherine and Caroline. I've seen Ted stand with them and for them. I've seen him stand with and for his father and for and with his mother. And you know, he will stand for you. He will stand for every mother and father and son and daughter in America. He will do what he said. He will speak the truth just as he has in the United States Senate. And so today I call on all within the sound of my voice to join me in this cause, to look forward to the first hundred days of a Ted Cruz presidency, a hundred days that will be marked by reform, a reform that will restore the greatness of our economic mobility society. We've seen in recent years our economic mobility society has been in danger. We, we see the poor and the middle class being held back. We see economic opportunity in America fading as there are more and more backroom deals that serve only to enrich and further empower 
those incumbents who were already enriched and already empowered. Ted Cruz will work to undo that and to restore the greatness of the American people, to put the power back where it belongs, which is with the people. It's time, my fellow Americans, and in particular today, my fellow Republicans, to unite behind one candidate. That candidate is Ted Cruz. I'm sending the signal that it's time to unite. Um, the, the, the time has finally come, the time is finally at hand, when we as Republicans need to unite behind one leader. If Senator Rubio, Rubio were asking me that, I, I would encourage him, and I do encourage him, to get behind Ted Cruz. Well, the overwhelming majority of Republican senators have not endorsed anyone. I, I expect that will change, and I expect that I'll be the first of many Republican senators who will endorse Ted Cruz.